Okay. Unknown. Hello, Adam. Uh, hello? The famous Detective Adam Lane. Not so famous after all, are you? Uh, how does that concern you? Sadly, the only cases you are getting must be of lost bikes. The Browns murder case, that really was your peak, wasn't it? Uh, um, I'm still not sure who this is. Uh, just someone who can help you get back on track. To be honest, I didn't ask. I have a case for you. A case that will help you redeem yourself and overcome your past. A case that will help me redeem myself from what? I want you to solve this case. The disappearance of Zoe Leonard. Zoe Leonard? That case was marked as a runaway. I believe there is more to that case than a simple runaway. I cannot just take up a case like this. I don't think you have a choice. Or I could just block you right now. Does the name Victoria ring a bell? Victoria who? Do you need a reminder? <sighs> the fuck was that? Of what happened? At Lake Isle five years ago? Your silence tells me you don't. You couldn't possibly know about this. Coming back to the point, Zoe's disappearance. You're going to solve it. I will be sending you something to get started with. I have to talk to my colleague first, at least. I don't care. Talk to your colleague, call up your wife, or get permission from your cat. I want you to get started with this case right away or else. You can't blackmail me like that. I won't need to if you do as I say. This is crazy. I think I would rather take my chances than be forced like this. You give me what I want in exchange for your dirty little secret. I am simply asking a detective to solve this case of an innocent girl who went missing. If you find her, it will be a win-win su situation for everyone here. Sorry about that. What's your reason for doing all this? The clock is ticking, detective, if you are... I'd get started if I were you. Okay. Let's get into Amanda. Did you take the pen from my bag? Oh, yeah, I did. Had to sign in the bill. When will you start keeping things back? I'm sorry, hon. Uh, Jim. Oh, shit, let me scroll all the way up. Hey, Dad, I'll be going to my friend's New Year party tomorrow. Great, have fun. Can you give me some money? I gotta get some stuff. How much money is some money? A hundred bucks? I'll transfer 75. Are you bargaining? Why not, if it helps me save some money. Okay, just give me whatever amount you wish to. Good, enjoy, and have a great year ahead. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Dad. You at office? No, I am at the community center. Had some stuff. Can you pick me up from Dave's place while going back home? I'll be late. That's okay. What are you doing at Dave's place anyways? Don't you have school today? I'm not there right now. We go after school. Okay, I'll pick you around nine. All right. Hey, Dad, any idea where Mom is? Just came home. Can't seem to find her. No, I have no idea. Call her once. She's not picking up. Wait till 8. She must have gone to the market. Okay, till when will you come? Hmm. I'll come in around 30 minutes. Okay. Let's see. What else is there? Maxwell. Let's scroll all the way up. Good day, Adam. A very happy new year to you and your family. Good morning and happy new year to you as well. Any new case that you are working on? Why, you want to steal off my case? <laughs> like I need to do that. Just making sure you're not taking up in case that you shouldn't. You mean that murder case and missing case you asked us not to pursue? Exactly, nice to know you remember. I mean, I'm a detective, what do you expect? Okay, so this means we are all good then? Yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Hello? Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. That unknown person is very suspicious. Smith, scrolling. Hey, Mr. Adam, any progress? No, sir. We are trying to find your disc. I told you it's very tough. I have got this posted over the internet. Now all we can do is wait. I didn't pay you to sit and wait around. I told you you need to be patient. It's been two weeks already. I gave you names of suspects. I'm still interrogating them. I want results, damn it. Don't talk to me like I'm your employee. I'm working on it. Once I have a lead, I'll contact you. Till then, I advise you to be patient. I hope you receive the parcel. Yeah, just now, but how did you get this? Let's just say I got com some connections. I don't get it. Last time we met, you said the disc got destroyed. Well, the disc got destroyed, but not the data. You can say my guys were able to retrieve it. Thanks a lot, detective. You don't know what this means. I'll have the rest of my payments sent to you. My pleasure. Seems like my character does a lot of stuff for him being a detective. Unknown number. Hey, Mr. Adam. Hello? This is Marsh. I live on Walnut Street. Hey, Marsh. How can I help you? I have heard you are a detective and you can also solve my problems. Yes, I am a detective. My wife, I think she is having an affair. I'm not sure, though. She has been leaving our place for the night and it's mostly on Mondays, Thursdays. What does that say while leaving? Sorry, what did she say while leaving? A uh, weekly charity, and guess what? Last week there was no event. She must be lying. Could be a possibility. Can you help me find out? Sorry, but no, I don't solve these types of problems. I'm a detective, not a spy. Then why were you even talking to me till now? It sounded interesting. Skip you, motherfucker. Okay, so it's 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Here we go. Let's get all this set up. Tim. Hey, Adam. Where have you been? Ah, shit. Hey, I need to talk to you. Sure, what's up? Um, remember that case of the missing girl? I believe we can solve it. I thought we agreed on not talking up Zoe's case. Solving Zoe's case could be our big shot. This case is a waste of time. It's a dead end. The trails have gone cold, and who knows if she's even alive. When did you become so insensitive? What's up with you today? We've talked about this in the past. We need this case. Our agency needs this. No, you need this. Not me, and the agency will recover. It's been a while since we worked on a big case. We need this. Adam, listen to yourself. There is no decent evidence in this case. And if there was, the hope of finding any is as far as gone now. You never know what the police might have missed. Why are you so hellbent on finding her? Not every mystery can be solved. I guess I will prove you wrong then. I am not getting on this madness with you. Detective Maxwell won't be happy once this reaches him. If you want to do this, then fine. Just know that I am not going to help you with this one. <laughs> since when did you start fearing Maxwell? It's been three weeks since she disappeared. It makes no sense. I've made my decision, Adam. If you decide to go ahead with this case, you'll be on your own. Never mind, I won't force you. I don't know what to say. Talk to you later. Good luck. Bitch. Okay, and now we're getting started. That's more of what I'd like to see. Here we go. Leonardo family, Zoe, Joseph, student ID, Zoe, 8 p.m. Don't know who that is. Don't forget groceries, that ah, shit. Okay. Yep. And task case related. Why do I have a calculator? Oh gosh. Clues and puzzles. Yay. Okay, this is dealing with the map, so this is going to be interesting. Within the green, beautiful sounds on the go. Okay. Um <clears throat> excuse me. I see you received the parcel. Did you have a look inside? It's just a bunch of pictures. You are a detective, Adam. 
this evidence could be very handy to you. I am surprised to see such a famous detective giving up on a case every second. You need to be serious here. Boy, if you... Thanks for the talk, but I don't think any of these items will help. I have another gift for you. But be careful, you can't share this with anyone. Wait, is this your guy out at the door? You know what to do. I'll talk to you once you received your gift. Huh? What does that mean? What, what is the... Okay, now I'm curious. What's the gift, bro? Hello? Oh, there it is. What is it? What the hell? Episode 1, The Missing Girl Passcode. Got your gift? Okay, how the hell do you even have this? You need to work fast and question less. Count your blessings and get going. But still, how did you get this? <laughs> I made myself clear. No questions. Um, I am just warning you. This could land us in some trouble. Night, Adam. Good luck. Oh, uh, you little moon. Bro, I'm not trying to get my job taken away from me because of a freaking sucker that wants to be mysterious and stuff. I already am calling it. Okay, so maybe it's the student ID number and all that number. Yeah, that has to be the code. That has to be. Let's try it real quick. Eight... Oh, hey! It worked, yay. My bet is that this person that's supposedly trying to help me get this case going and get my, I don't know, career better. I feel like this dude that's helped me that's unknown is actually, possibly, maybe, the perpetrator. Who knows? Aww! Look at the kitty! Oh, it's so cute! Look at the kitty! That's the cutest kitty, y'all. So precious. So cute. Oh, oh gosh. Wow, I could do a lot in this game. These are really nice pictures. That's a cute outfit. Hmm, nice. Wow, even the freaking mailbox or the uh, email. Huh, worried I don't know how to contact you. Oh god, I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, I feel that. I got like two friends that I contact, but like one is- there's only like one that I contact on email. Literally, I only contact one person on email, guys, so chill out on me, please. I contact people on every other fucking app, though. Oh gosh, it's a lot of, uh, calls and stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Here we go. Hey mom, can I go for a sleepover at Lily's today? Ask your dad. I can't say yes without discussing it with your father. You know dad won't allow me easily. That's why I'm asking you. Please let me on one condition. What? You have dinner with us first and then you can leave. Ah, uh, you know, that's not possible mom. We decided to grab some burgers from Margie's. Sure, you never like what I cook. Please, Mom? I'll give it a try. Thank you, Mom. 
Zoe, I could call Lily's mom, as you, you were not picking up. She told me you never came to their place. Did you lie to us? What is happening? Call me ASAP. Whenever you can see the message, call. Zoe, we are very worried. Please call. If you see this message, Zoe, darling, where are you? We are all worried. I hope you are okay. Please text us back ASAP. Damn. Zoe, mom will be out in the afternoon and I'll be at the store. Come by the store and take the keys from me. Can't mom leave the keys at the usual place or spot? No, that's not safe. I have to told you guys before not to do that. Hmm, where is mom going anyway? Salon. Oh, I think I'll just join her then at the salon. Whatever, just leave it on your own. Okay, bye, okay. Zori, where are you? Phone off. Lied about the sleepover. Call back when you see the message. Zoe, please come home. <laughs> Safe and sound. Honey, we are really worried. Please text and call. Hey, just wanted to ask where are you? Are you there? The message is on current. Your phone not ringing, Zoe. Jesus. 576 messages deleted? Oh, nah. Lily, you got something to hide, and I'm gonna fucking find out. Valerina. Let's see. Okay, it's a lot. Hola, Zori. Hey, Valerina, I'm glad you texted. So how's it going? Got a chance to have a look at some of the places around. Um, no, still trying to adapt to this town. I know beginnings are always the toughest. I know, right? Well, remember that if you need anything, I'm always here. Gracias. Hey, soy Joy to disturb. Can you help me with something? Go on, I'm glad to help you. As you know, I saw yesterday only. Any idea for the North recap? Sure, uh, maybe Lily could help us. She is the smartest kid in our school and her notes are the best. Great, any idea how I can get in touch with her? Or in luck, she's my best friend. I'll give you her contact number. There you go. Gracias, Zoe. You have been very helpful. Not a problem. I am always happy to help. I'll let Lily know, too. That would be great. Hey, by the way, are you free tonight? Need to check that once. I uh, think we'll leave you to the vet today for a checkup. If all goes well, I should be free. Hope all goes well. I know this mild tension you must be having. By the way, we are having a party tonight. Ooh, a party? Una fiesta sounds good. We'll try my best to come. That's the spirit. You can tag along with me. Would be fun. You know Brad, right? Obviously, I know him, captain of the football team, and your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, you'll get to meet him and some more familiar faces. Also, you'll get to know people better. They are more open in such places. Mm, I guess I can come. Okay, I'll share the passes for the party with you, and I'll introduce you to some amazing people. Interesting, interesting. So, I'm trying to see unknown person making me do this case. You have Joseph, Emma, Zach, Zoe, her family. You have her student ID and her passcode enrollment number, the passcode on her phone to get into her phone in the first place. Uh, what else? Then you have other stuff within her phone. Pixable. I need to get a password for this, but I don't know exactly where the password would be. And I don't even know what the fuck Pixable is. Like, what is Pixable? I've never heard of that before in my life. And now apparently she has a diary. I don't know what that's about. If she has stuff in the diary that could help, that would be great. Uh, I really gotta figure this out though. Because I'm very curious to know, like, what does this area of it all on her phone have to do with anything? I don't know the password and I'm trying for no reason. What's your pet's name? Oh yeah, the cat! Okay, let's go to the uh, gallery. Let's see if I can find the cat's name. Whenever I have to use the table. No. Oh, someone break a vase, a vase, whatever. No. Me with my favorite being. Where's the cat's name, bro? Peaceful kitty. That's not the... Oh my god. This melts me. Oh no. Chilling on the floor. Damn it! Okay, so there has to be something dealing with Lily. There has to be something I can figure out. Maybe it's melts? Nope. Maybe it's... I don't even know.
Nah, I don't know what the cat's name would be. Let's get back to here, though. With the situation from... Damn it. I'm really trying to think. Man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. I don't like being a detective sometimes, but at the same time I do. It's just... Damn, bruh. Your beauty is our passion. Wondering... Oh, this is the place for the salon. Ah, okay. Saving that for later. For information to help me out. What is this? Cool. Oh, must have been the party. Yeah, definitely the house party. With the pool. So they had a little code to scan. We need to scan it later. This is a financial loan. I don't think a loan would help for anything. Okay. The diary had four pages only. <sighs> I wonder why it's been deleted. Maybe there's a way I can find information on Lily. Maybe I can find her number. <gasps> Wait a minute. I remember where it is. It's in the messages. What the hell is this? I'm not to view the hidden images. How am I supposed to know the code for this? So what else? Hmm. There's the contact number for Zoe. No, yeah, I think it was in the messages. Ah, found you. You are now chatting with Lily. Hi, Lily. This is Detective Adam Lane. I'm investigating the case of Zoe Leonard. Um, is this the police? Uh, I thought the police closed this case due to the lack of evidence. Well, they did. I am a private detective. I believe I can find her. Zoe's my best friend. She was my only friend. I would be happy to answer all your questions if that brings in some hope for us to find Zoe. What can you tell me about her? Zoe was one of the sweetest souls in our school. Besides this, she had a sharp mind and was extremely talented. She was very friendly and her family loved her to pieces. She used to get good grades and even had the perfect boyfriend. I don't know what happened suddenly. Seems like she had no reason to run away. Exactly. She did have the perfect life. A lot of girls were even jealous. Not me, though. I always wanted the best for her. When was the last time you saw her? At school only. Do you know where was she the night of her disappearance? Wait, don't you know? She was... At the party that night. What party? Some kids were having a private party and Zoe was planning on going. Huh. Zoe's parents gave a statement that she went for a sleepover that night at your place. Well, never knew she could lie to her parents. Probably she went to the party with Betty and was planning to stay with her only. Betty? Another friend of Zoe's? She was Zoe's friend. I never liked her influence on Zoe, though. She used to throw herself on Zoe every time. Zoe was always so kind to everyone, so she ignored this. Hmm. So, didn't you go to the party? I had more important things to focus on than just partying with a bunch of idiots. Seems like you don't mix up with the crowd well. I am someone who enjoys being with like-minded people. Other kids always try being over-friendly with me because I am a scholar. I allow only very limited people in my life, in my friends. Whose party was this, do you know? Yeah, it was organized by... Who is this? Don't you dare contact Lily again! Stay away! Lily? Damn! Damn it!
Ah, this detective shit is whack. Jeez, I was so close to finding out who made the party. And now I'm just like, damn. But if she went to the party with Betty, wouldn't that imply that maybe possibly it was Betty's party? But then again, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm just trying to figure something out because I'm, I'm really trying to understand, like, who literally, like, made her go to that party? Or did she just do it on her own will? Like, was she forced? I really want to figure out this cat's name so I could just get into this. Nah, it's not Molly. Oh, boy. It's crazy. Uh, I got the chance to be able to text Lily and talk to her. My issue is, what the hell is this? Oh, wow. Uh, was not expecting this. Anyways, my issue was that I was able to, like, you know, text Lily. But the problem is, I still wasn't able to see all those deleted messages that she had. Which bothers me, because I would think that if I saw all of that... Damn it. Hold on, let me restart. If I saw all of that, maybe it would have given me a lot of help and a lot of clues to things that I didn't know that I needed to know. So I could find out how can I get a closer perspective on to saving Zoe before it's too late. I mean, yeah, it was like two weeks that already passed. My thing is, if this is the first episode, first chapter, called The Missing Girl, wouldn't that mean that there's other victims and other chapters as well? Like, I hope it's not just about Zoe, because I don't know how long this chapter is going to be, and I don't know if it's going to take forever. It's just, yikes. Okay, two more tries. Here we go, and voila. Yay. So what is this getting to? Oh, oh, two chats, three emails, three photos. Okay, thanks, I guess. Find out if Zoe went to... Okay. I'd have to figure out if she went to the party. Ah, Betty. Scrolling all the way up. Babe, want to go to the party together tonight? Hey, Betty, I'm not sure about the party yet. Why? What's the issue now? Dad, it's going to get pretty late. How should I ask him? Take my advice, honey. Just don't. What do you mean? I do this all the time. Kyle helps me get down from the window and boom. Thanks, but no. I can't even imagine what would happen in such a case if my family finds out. I was just trying to help, whatever, but I want to see you at a at Margie's. I'll see what I can do. No excuses, darling. Hey, is Kyle with you? He was. He received some calls and just went away. Why are you looking for Kyle? Nothing important. Some stuff about Brad. Wait, did Brad do something? Kai won't be able to be any of help if that is the case. These boys, I tell you, are always sticking out for each other. Um, it's nothing like that. Oh my god, is Brad planning anything special for you? And you can't wait, so... <laughs> want all the details from Kyle, don't you? You guys are just too much. Betty, not now. I don't have the time for this. Are you not even a bit excited? If it was Kyle in this place, <laughs> I would have gone mad already. Betty, you know how I feel about all this. Yeah, I know how you act. Anyway, whatever. Hey, Betty. Do you have any passes left for the party? I have to check. Wait, I'll let you know in five. I only have two passes left. Can you send both of these to me, please? Please? May I ask? Who are these for? Um, no one special. I was not Lily. No, 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 not Lily. Then I'll just mail them to you. To give to whoever you want, just not that freak. Yeah, do. Please send them a up. Talk to you, Dad. I will. Girl, what are you waiting for? Later, <laughs> you ask. Unless there are the chances. Give me some time. It's been months since we went out this late. And two for a party with the boys. Just asking to be quick. Let's meet at Lily's place at eight. Lily, I told you to stay away from that freak. Girls like us cannot be seen with girls like her. Why are you... Gotta be so mean. She is my best friend, Betty. Also, Lily is not coming with us. Her parents won't allow her. Won't allow her? Who even invited that nerd? I did. I told you. Betty, watch your language in front of me. You both are friends. Make peace for fucking sake. Okay, okay, whatever. 
Why in her place to though? <laughs> if she is not coming. I told my dad that I am going to sleep over at her place. Oh my god, way to go! So you got an all night pass then, huh? Uh, no, I told you guys I wouldn't be able to be going with you guys after the party. Okay, whatever, I'll meet you at Margie's. I love you, but still, I cannot be seen anywhere near her house. No problem, I'll see you at Margie's then. See you at the 8, bye! Hey, Zoe, what happened? Zoe, where are you? Your parents are miserably sad when you're really worried. Please call us if you see us soon. <sighs> oh my god. If I messed up on a couple of words, I'm so sorry. I literally ran out of breath reading all that. Your cat is meowing in my ears. Away, oh, stop him, Zoe! Why can't you be a good brother for once and play with him? Let me sleep, I promise I'll do tomorrow. He doesn't listen to you anyway. Where are you? Please pick up, we're all worried. Oh, jeez, my head hurts with this dang investigation. This is a lot to take in, bruh. Huh. I did not see this before. Why haven't I seen this before? Probably because I'm not paying attention. I'm going to keep that in mind for later. Okay. Next... Let's be off to the next portion. A car dealership thing. Cool. Halloween party. Interesting. That might be helpful. Mm. Oh, there goes from mom. Okay, there goes a new picture with her bike. Cool. Why would I want to make it darker or lighter? Anyway. Uh, any other new pictures? Ooh! Only gift I can expect from my dad. Yep, a clock. Oh, okay. We look sick. So that's Betty. Of course, Betty. Had to be that. Guess the Pokemon. Why? <laughs> There's no name. I really want to know the cat's name, and for some reason, it's like I can never fucking, like, figure out the cat's name. And it's honestly annoying. Location. Hold on. A map. Oh, I need to get the coordinates. But how? Where, actually? Hmm. There's so much to do. <sighs> this was a wild one.